everybody, this is Elizabeth from Gabriel Family Adventures and today I'm going to be giving a review of the Vedanta Resort in Nuevo Vallarta, Mexico. And this is our third Vedanta. So several years ago we went to the Vedanta in Acapulco and then two years ago we went to Riviera Maya and now we are at uh, Vedanta Nuevo Vallarta. So for this time, this trip, we were traveling with our friends um, that we travel with all the time and because we had stayed at two other Vedantas, we knew that there was a difference in rooms, um, you know, different locations within the resort, as well as kind of different levels of, of luxury, for example. Um, so the Vedanta resorts, they have your kind of the, the, the basic level, which is still fine. And definitely, I think if you're on a budget, worth the money. Um, it's called the Sea Garden. And the Sea Garden in Nuevo Vallarta is actually located over, um, kind of off of the sort of regular Vedanta Resort. And the Vedanta Resort is enormous. Um, so the Sea Garden is located over to the side and has gorgeous ocean views. And what's amazing about it is it is really close to the marina, the Nuevo Vallarta Marina, which has really good restaurants that are super affordable. I recommend Eddie's um, and Barracuda. They are walking distance. We actually walked there. We were staying at the Grand Mayan, but it's even closer if you're staying at the Sea Garden. So if you're on a budget, I recommend it. So that's kind of your base level. Um, and then you've got your Mayan Palace. Your Mayan Palace, actually all of the Mayan Palace through the Grand Lux have an approximate same footprint for each room, but it's just the finishes, the luxury, all that stuff um, is what separates them, what differentiates them. So you've got your Grand Mayan, then, um, sorry, your Mayan Palace, then your Grand Mayan, then you've got your Grand Bliss, and then you've got your Grand Lux. Um, some of the Vedantas also have a Bliss that's right below the Grand Mayan, which is not the Grand Bliss, so don't get those two confused. Um, so we stayed at the Grand Mayan, kind of smack dab in the middle, and we got the two bedroom suite. The two bedroom suite is basically what you get is um, there's an adjoining door that you simply unlock or have you know have the hotel staff unlock ours was locked when we checked into our room so they had to come up so there's an adjoining door to the rooms and there's also an adjoining door to the patios outside um so they'll roll that up as well so then you have this nice long luxurious deck with a dipping pool in it um so one of the rooms will be a basic bedroom um with it'll have a mini fridge and things like that um and that is kind of their hotel room and then the other room has the kitchen the living room you know all that spacious area and then another bedroom with it so then when you have the two bedroom suite you're just combining all of those together it's incredibly spacious and what i recommend doing is um i like the grand mayan something that is absent from the grand lux or at least the model that we we toured is that the couches in the grand mayan have trundle beds they all have trundle beds so you can have the kiddos sleeping in lots of different places within the hotel room um, and I didn't notice the trundle beds in the Grand Lux so maybe they're in the rooms themselves and not the model um, but if you're traveling with a big family or friends I recommend the Grand Mayan because they have those trundle beds so that you're not jam-packed in the bed so you can kind of spread out a little bit Another thing I recommend about um, any of the Vedanta is because it's not all inclusive. Now, it, they do have a lot of restaurants. The restaurants are very good um, and they have restaurants that are similar at each of the Vedanta resorts, same name, same menu, things like that. Um, but what I recommend is first and foremost, um, either on your way from the airport or kind of quickly after you check in, you can take a taxi to Walmart. There's a Walmart in Nuevo Vallarta. Um, it was roughly 10 US dollars to get there, to leave the resort. It took about 15, 20 minutes. A lot of that time is driving actually to get out of the resort because the Vedanta is so big and it's, it's getting even bigger. They're expanding it, which is very exciting. Um, but once you get out, you can go to Walmart. Um, and just to kind of give you a comparison, the a bottle of Captain Morgan at the at the store at the Vedanta was twenty one dollars, which you know for resort prices is not unreasonable. Um, at Walmart, it was seven U.S. So 
just to compare. Um, the day my husband went to Walmart, unfortunately their credit card machines weren't working, so they were only taking cash. Um, but that's a different issue altogether, but just make sure you have extra cash just in case. But um, so you can do that, especially, you know, for your breakfast, maybe your lunches. The, there is a very large kitchen. You know, we, we bought, you know, pasta noodles and sandwich making stuff and cereal and all of that. Um, there's all the bowls, plates, cups that you could possibly want in the room. Um, so, you know, go get those groceries if you're looking to save a little bit, or if you just don't want to walk to one of the restaurants for breakfast every day, if you want to just have it in the room, go there. The taxi from Walmart back to the hotel is a lot cheaper. We actually used Uber, um, and it was three US dollars on our account. Um, and Uber is used all over Mexico. We've been very successful with it. So don't hesitate to use Uber. Um, and Uber is also helpful if you're having, you know, frustrations or struggles with if there's a language gap or any of that stuff, because then it's easy to, to navigate um, the Uber. Okay, so some things to know about the Vedanta. First thing, like I said, the resort is enormous. Um, and I've shared this before with my review of the Riviera Maya. It's a little different in Acapulco. The resort is a little um, more compact, but in Riviera Maya, there were a lot of golf carts um, to kind of take you to different places. In Nuevo Vallarta, at least if you're staying at the Grand Mayan, if you have mobility issues, if you know walking is difficult for you, this is, I don't know if this is the right resort for you or your family, because there is a lot of walking, um, even to get to the locations to take the golf carts to go somewhere else. It takes a long time. Personally, I think it's beautiful. I really liked that, you know, after dinner, we had to walk a long way to get back to our room. Um, you know, so if you like that sort of thing, it's great. The pathways are beautiful. They're all, you know, wooden and there's bridges and it's just so nice. But if mobility is an issue, accessing those golf carts is tricky and sometimes calling them um, can take a really long time. So just to give you an example, when we called to have our luggages um, brought to the van to go home, um, to go back to the airport, it was uh, almost an hour wait to get that for our checkout. Um, and we tried to plan early before there was a big rush and it still took a really long time. So again, if mobility is an issue, please do keep that in mind. Um, other things to know, the Grand Mayan itself, its location in the resort is really great for two reasons. Um, so we had the farthest tower, um, and what was great about it, if you're traveling with kids, is there's two different kids water activity areas at the Vedanta Nueva Vallarta, one of which is at the Grand Lux, and I'll talk about that in a little while. Um, the other one is at the Grand Mayan. It is just a very short walk over and um, lots of fun for the kids to play. There's this big water slide that they can go up and go down and my daughter went it up, you know, 20 times. She loved it. There's two big wave pools. Um, then there's a bunch of, you know, fun splash things. Um, so you're very, very close to that. You're close to several different restaurants, um, outdoor restaurants. You're also close to several towel stands. Um, and something that I really noticed about this particular resort compared to some of the other ones I've been to is that they're not super strict about counting the towels and you know how sometimes you can sort of lose track or one gets picked up and you didn't realize it um and you get really stressed because then there's the fear of oh we're going to charge you 75 us for a lost towel when you didn't lose the towel it just got misplaced or you mixed it up with a room towel or something um at the resort you know you turn in some towels you kind of plop it in a bin they ask you if you want some more. They say, oh, how many did you turn in? You say, I think I turned in eight. They're like, okay. So it, it seemed a lot more relaxed. Um, I don't think people are really stealing resort towels anyways. So hopefully that'll just be a thing that more resorts kind of mellow out about. You don't have to have that towel card that then you're constantly worried about losing. Um, so that was really nice. And then you could swap out towels whenever you want. The other thing that's really great about our particular part of the Grand Mayan is that the pool right in front of our tower was the warmest pool in the resort. Um, we got access to the, the Grand Lux pools um, due to a variety of 
unfortunate events. It was kind of their way of, you know, trying to make things up to us. And they were cold. And I don't know if that's just because it was the winter. Um, I wish there was more heating because some of the pools were, you know, even though it was 75 degrees outside, the pools were very cold. Um, there's this one particular location in the Grand Mayan pool that you feel the heat coming out. Um, and so if you're lucky, and people aren't already posted up right there, um, you can go and then it's very warm and then there's splashy areas for the kids to play and it's quite fun. Um, so it's a really nice place to stay. The rooms again are fantastic, they're big. Um, the thing that I've noticed in the difference again between the Grand Mayan and the Grand Lux are just levels of quality of you know the bedding, the decor and things like that. Um, but if you're staying regardless of what you know section of the resort you're staying in you have access to all of the restaurants in the resort and they are quite good something that Vedanta is now doing that they didn't have a few years ago last time we went is they have an app and that app gives you directions if you want to walk um, or walk to a golf cart location um, it will give you prices of food. Um, so if you want to look up, okay, well, how much is dinner at that restaurant? Now you can look it up. And something that I noticed, which is interesting, is that the prices in the Nuevo Vallarta portion of the app compared to Riviera Maya, the prices are different. And it's something that if you've watched my review on Riviera Maya, I talked about how it felt kind of expensive for the food. There is a discrepancy. The prices in the Riviera Maya are more expensive. Um, the other great thing about the Nuevo Vallarta Resort is again, it's location so close to the marina that you can either take a taxi or if you wanna just walk along the beach, you can access delicious restaurants right there off the resort. Um, you can also walk if you're doing excursions. A lot of the excursions pick you up from the Nuevo Vallarta Marina, so you can walk there. Um, and because it takes so long to get out of the resort, to walk from your tower to the golf cart pickup, to the taxi stand to get out of the resort, we actually felt like it was faster just to walk to the marina down on the beach, and it's beautiful. So um, I do recommend that. Overall, would we go back to the Vedanta River or Vedanta Nueva Verde? Yes, absolutely. Um, I love the resort. I think it's great. It's very big. Um, our experience at the kids section of the Grand Lux, it's kind of a smaller location, but different fun, you know, water slides and things like that. And I'm sure if you're staying in the Grand Lux, then you can also access the Grand Mayan uh, water slides and everything so you can kind of mix up your day um, they just opened this area called saloon um something that it is different than the saloon in riviera maya it's not as big maybe it will be in the future but they were just finishing it and opening it when we were there it has a ton of super cute food trucks dessert regular food all drinks all kinds of stuff they've got the great swings and the beds on the beach and things like that um and you can take a water taxi to get there so it's a different type of cart and they go through this fun water area you'll see this beautiful bridge that at night lights up with flames um you know you've got your all kinds of different beach sections different pools the grand Lux actually has different pools per tower that you can go to so if you want kind of a smaller more intimate setting um you know with faster service because it's just smaller you can have that and we really love it i feel like the price you pay so we're rci members so we paid um we just did one of the last we didn't transfer any points from our timeshare we just did the um the the cash payment for a week for the two bedroom resort for the week um you pay when you book we paid about thirteen hundred dollars um and then you have resort fees of about nine hundred dollars but those resort fees are flexible um so because it is well they say it's not a timeshare right it's a it's a different type of resort membership thing whatever um what they'll do is they'll offer you different bonuses or discounts on the resort fees themselves um, if you go to their timeshare presentation. So yes, it says $900. Yes, you're looking at $21, $2,200, um, but you really don't pay that. You do pay significantly less if you're willing to do the timeshare presentation, things like that. Um, it's up to you. However, you know, they say it's, they actually said it was an hour long timeshare presentation. You know, usually they say 90 minutes. 
it's significantly longer than that. But, you know, if you don't mind spending a morning eating a super good breakfast at one of the hotel restaurants and not paying for it, and then going and touring, um, I actually really enjoyed this timeshare presentation because um, our representative was very friendly and it was really fun to see all of the new things that Vedanta Nueva Vallarta is developing because you see all this construction as you're driving and you're like, what? Um, on different sides of the freeway even, they're building a theme park um, and it's going to be amazing. And, and they're building these huge residences and all this stuff. They're having a cruise line come out. So it was really fun to see all of that. And you know, of course you go through the motions of the, the monetary side of it, it is a business, but um, it was fun just to see everything that Vedanta has to offer. Um, and you know, would I go back again? Absolutely, I think bang for your buck for a non-all inclusive for a two bedroom suite that is very big, um, you know, clean, beautiful, great views, totally worth it. So if you have any questions at all, please don't hesitate to put those in the app and subscribe to this channel for more reviews in the future. Thank you.